here at the uh, Zigbee booth at the 2012 International CES looking over some uh, smart thermostats and other uh, great green products. Can you tell me a little bit about what you have here? You bet. We have uh, we're the Zigbee Alliance. We're an international standards organization with uh, interoperability standards. So we've got a lot of products that have been built using that uh, standard. Over here on the left, you've got some meters that are uh, from Landis and Gear and Itron, and these are Zigbee Smart Energy enabled meters. Uh, they that now allow customers and consumers to be able to see their pricing information, direct usage information, either on in-home displays or in thermostats. In addition, that also now becomes a conduit for communications from the utility uh, to these devices. And as a consumer, I can let them, if I want, have a control, uh, direct uh, control of uh, control devices like this one, or into uh, plugs and simple things like that. Or I can have my appliances be responsive to uh, different pricing and have things like this GE dryer, have it delay my drying cycle or uh, put that into an eco mode and have that reduce its load until the price goes back down as well. So it gives me an opportunity to kind of determine how much I want to be involved in managing my energy usage uh, through the use of this interoperability standard that allows that kind of connection between meters, devices, and also over the web and remote control for myself as well. Excellent. So when consumers start to use these products, do they typically see a, a, a huge savings and do they then do more to sort of cut back on their energy uses? Yeah, uh, we're seeing a lot of interesting studies just from the usage information alone from just in-home displays. You're getting up to 4 to 12 percent savings. There's a great study done in Washington, D.C. with Pepco uh, that showed that kind of savings just from knowing what my energy usage was, mm -hmm. that much savings. When you start getting into controls where I just have kind of a rules-based environment where I just say, I don't want to spend more than a certain amount or I don't want to use more than a certain amount, set my rules to be responsive to that, then you can start seeing all sorts of opportunities there. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time.